It is going to be a busy day at schools across Mobile County as students return to campus and here at Gilliard Elementary. It's still pretty quiet for now. The doors are still locked here and they have their COVID signs up warning people not to go inside if they have a fever, cough, sore throat or shortness of breath. There are a lot of different measures in place to keep people and kids safe this year when school comes back into session this morning. I want to bring in Renee Phillips from the school board uh, to talk about some of the safety precautions you guys are doing this year to keep people safe. One of them very visible right now on both of us are masks. That's right. So um, we want to keep our kids in school as long as possible with minimal disruptions. So we all have to do our part to protect our children. And one of that is to wear our mask. We're also saying that if you're sick, stay home. We're going to be practicing social distancing. We're going to be washing our hands, cleaning and sanitizing. We're going to do everything that we can to protect our students and our employees. And one of the new things this year are you going to have nurses in, make, in every school and they're going to be able to do contact tracing. And that's different than last year. That's right. So we were able to hire the nurses and we found the funding to keep them. So every school has a nurse dedicated to that so that if there is a case of COVID in a school, we'll be able to do the contact tracing and let the parents know that you've been in close contact and what you need to do. So we're going to be having our layered protection strategies in place. The belt first bell here is going to be in probably about a little less than two hours. Excitement for the school year. We're so excited. I think that face to face learning and um, we love that when I've been out at the schools and with my own children to meet the teacher, the teachers are excited to see their kids back in school. The kids want to be here. So we just want to keep that sense of normalcy as long as we can. And I'm sure many students and parents are super excited. Renee, thanks for joining us this morning here on Fox 10 and we'll have more coverage throughout the morning here on Fox 10. We're live this morning at Gilliard Elementary on DIP. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.